You done? Are you done? So I just realized, I just realized that I've been talking about this whole joke about my roommates and me and Cake, and I've been muted the whole time. So sorry, sorry, Twitch, you don't get to hear the story about me and Cake and see why I was making Phil laugh. But it had to do with Slurpuff, so I made a Slurpuff joke, and it was great, and it would have been great for you guys to hear it, but I'm sorry. So I'm eating Cake, and there was a joke about Slurpuff. Whatever. It won't be funny the second time. Anyway, so, um... It ended up being that if we were going to do a chocolate cake that he didn't want to get white frosting with chocolate cake, it would have been chocolate frosting with chocolate cake. So we ended up with spice cake. So I don't know. <laughs> so. Also, we never actually put the link in our freaking Oh, now you're quiet, Will. I can't hear you, Will. Now you've ruined everything, Will. <laughs> Better? Are you in? Nope. No, I can't hear you, Will. I can hear nope, you. Will broke no. everything. <laughs> <laughs> now we can hear you, but you're really faint. It's, yeah. All right, God. Let me put, hey, there we go. There we go. There you go. Put the mic near you. <laughs> Just oh, eat the are. microphone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? These are like new five below headphones, and they have okay quality. Yeah. Not the best. Not a big fan. No. Sorry about that. Because I, I use my headphones all day, so they kind of I burn through them pretty damn fast. Okay. So introductions. Welcome to the Entry Hazard Podcast. I am I'm Avos. Uh, with us today we have Boom Guy. You may have heard of him, maybe. But I'll let him do his own inter introductions because, well, let's be honest, nobody's better at introducing yourself than yourself. So well, please yeah. introduce yourself to the audience. Um, I, if they haven't heard of you, they will today. Okay, so I'm Boom Guy. I'm from Australia, um, hence the accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've been to, uh, I'm your Pokemon Showdown moderator as well. Um, you might see me there, and I've Competed at Worlds uh, well, this year, finished 21st, and I'm no most known for using weird and wacky Pokemon in a good way. <laughs> Will, do you have anything to add to your introduction this week? I'm King Will, and I'm here to fuck shit up. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to the news. Let's do news real quick. Um, right now, if you guys don't already know... Pokemon Rumble World is actually coming to a physical copy. How excited are you? It'll come bundled with uh, 3,000 crystals or something. Uh, and as far as I know, it's only coming to Europe. I'll have the page pulled up here in a second for everybody. Da -da -da, monitor capture? Nope. Window capture. Let's do that one. Um, so instead of being all filled with microtransactions and everything like that, it's just going to be a nice little single package game basically like any other Pokemon Rumble world or any other Pokemon Rumble that you've seen I'm not terribly excited about it how do you guys feel about it are you guys over Pokemon Rumble at this point I've never played Pokemon Rumble actually perfect so I never don't know what the game's about awesome <laughs> Will I know that you and I played Pokemon Rumble um, for what a week and we considered it an okay toilet game <laughs> that you could play while you were pooping. That it's, was... It's the Angry Birds of your DS. Right. So, <laughs> awesome. I... Pff, I don't know why that's even news, but 3,000 Poke Diamonds, kind of cool. Uh, but I don't understand why it necessarily had to be its own full release, but maybe their microtransactions weren't working quite as well as Pokemon Shuffle, which I still don't understand why people are spending money on Pokemon Shuffle. But, mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, there was something about Pokemon Go somewhere along the way. I haven't heard anything about it. I haven't read anything about it. But the most important thing, if you play singles, is that you can pick up Hoopa at McDonald's. Um, if, if you are one of the people that 
doesn't live, you know, in the United States, but you still live in North America, Canadian McDonald's don't have the Hoopa event. So all you have to do is change, and this is all you have to do. You change your router name with no security uh, to, what is it, McDonald's free Wi-Fi or something like that. Your DS will connect to it, and you'll get a free Hoopa. Um, it's kind of cool if you walk into the Pokemon Center. If I walk into the Pokemon Center, I still haven't soft reset mine. I haven't finished any of those off. Uh, but it's now until just before Christmas. Are you guys excited about Hoopa? Yeah, I've got mine from um, actually from Europe. So I've, I'm, we don't have it in Australia yet, but I, I'm like, I like to play with it. You know what? I wonder. I really wonder if it's a region lock thing. If it's like North American DSs are the only ones that can access the McDonald's free Wi-Fi. Or if you were in the States, would your DS be able to connect to the McDonald's? Know. I would love to try that. So <laughs> if you if you have the access to the router in your home to where you can change the the SSID, you should try that. I'll link you to that later. Um, I know I, I retweeted it on Twitter a couple days ago, but I won't make you dig through that. I'll find it for you. Yeah. But it's, it's a pretty neat workaround, so I wonder if you'd be able okay. to get yourself a second oh. Hoopa. I could do that, yeah. That'd be great. Oh, I'll pass it on to some of Australian friends that want Hoopa and see if they can, if it will work, will work for them. Will, how about you? Are you excited about Hoopa? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hyperspace Hole is pretty cool. What I found out, this is a weird thing. Okay, so um, I was playing with uh, Ian, uh, Raikou VGC, right? Yep. Oh, so, oh, same guy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, he challenged me to uh, one of the Hackmons. Yeah. Like, he gets bored, and he'll be like, Avos, you're online. All right, let's play Hackmons. Right. <laughs> Whatever. He'll just... Will. Yeah? Don't do that. Yeah. Whatever you are doing, don't do that ever again. That is loud. I, I, I'll switch headphones. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he'll... Uh, yeah. He'll send me invites to random stuff, and he'll be like, all right, well, we're going to play this stupid game. It'll be like Battle Factory or something silly like that. Um, and the other day it was Hackmons, and I had a cottony, a cottony with hyperspace hole. It might have been a hyperspace hole or hyperspace fury. I'm not sure which one. But what I found out, according to the text on Pokemon Showdown, is that that is a Hoopa-only move, and no other Pokemon's allowed to use it. So now I'm wondering if Smeargle would be able to do it. And that's the thing that I'm challenging anybody out there to do. Um, get a Smeargle, get a Hoopa, Unbound, Hyperspace Fury, see if it's an, a Hoopa-only thing. Because that would be nuts. The fact if that they... Smeargle was able to use that move. Oh, I mean, I'm saying that it, even if, if Smeargle wasn't able to use it, like, if they limited it to only Hoopa. Because I don't see a reason why Pokemon Showdown would restrict that unless it was in the game to where you can't even hack in a Pokemon with Hyperspace Fury and be able to use it because it's limited only to Hoopa. But there's nowhere in any of the text anywhere that says, okay, this is Hoopa only move and it can only be used by Hoopa. But I ran into it on Showdown and it said only Hoopa could use it so my move failed and he won the match because of it. And I was upset. Okay, maybe it's a Showdown bug. It could be. Yeah. But these are things that I want to test out in game to figure yeah. out if it's something. I'd love to. <laughs> but I mean, especially since it's like Hackmons, like what am I going to do? Go over to. <laughs> go complain to the mods and be like, hey, there's a bug in Hackmons. Could you believe it? <clears throat> you know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, it's weird. I'm still really upset that McDonald's even. Uh, I get it because McDonald's and Pokemon toys have been kind of the thing. Um, like Burger King had Pokemon toys for a while, and then now McDonald's is the one that has them and has for a while. Mm. And so it sort of made sense that because they already had the partnership with McDonald's set up, that, okay, yes, that's who we're going to have the distribution through. But I was thinking about it the other day, right? We had Gen 4, and in Gen 4... They released Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and that came with a pedometer, right? It came yeah. with the little yeah. thing that counted all the steps, and the whole idea was that they were trying to get us to go outside, 
right? You yes. can't play Pokemon all day. You got to go outside. You can only you can get certain stuff from just playing around on this Pokewalker. Oh. And so they're like they've got a precedent set up where they're trying to encourage us to go outside and do things and be active. And then in all the 3DSs, every 3DS has a pedometer in it. Yeah. And so that's how you get some of your play coins to play things like the Find Me game or yeah. get some of the, the puzzle pieces, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then, out of nowhere, they're like, hey, guys, um, so all that healthy stuff that we've been trying to encourage you to do, now you need to go to McDonald's, get yourself a burger and fries uh, so that you can get Hoopa. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> like, <clears throat> I don't... Like, I'm not crazy upset about it, because, again, you could stand outside in the parking lot, access their Wi-Fi, and get it for free. Yeah. I feel like that's a little rude. You do kind of sort... You feel a little obligated to go into McDonald's, at least order a kid's meal, so you can get the uh, Hoopa toy, too. But, uh, I don't know. I just think it, it's kind of a silly message to be sending, to be like, oh, yeah, no, we could do this distribution just over the Wi-Fi. You could all access it. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You're not Japan, so you don't get all these Pokemon. Like, I feel bad for you over in Australia. What what Pokemon do you guys get as events? We had the shiny Rayquaza. That was the last thing that we had. Yeah. <laughs> was that about the only thing that you guys had? We had it before everybody else around the world, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that was a first. <laughs> <laughs> the one time that Australia wins in video gaming is that they got a shiny Rayquaza before anybody else. And we got X and Y before everybody else too because we are first in the time zone. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I feel I mean, so I mean, bad I mean, for any Australians. people that did get X and Y like a week before. Yeah, they shouldn't have. <laughs> I yeah. agree, but I wish I was Shofu and guys like that. Because I'd love to have, like, you know, a Pokemon game week before so I can really start competitive battling right away. God. Yeah. Don't get me started on a Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire launch. That was so <laughs> bad. I hated the launch for that. Because everybody that had a YouTube channel mm -hmm. was putting out, like, six and seven episodes a day. To the point where I got, like, four episodes in of making my content for my playthrough. Like, I have a shitty little channel, right? I got 600-something subs. That's nothing, nobody. Compared right? to everybody else, yeah. So I was, I was putting out a video a day because I feel like that's reasonable for a playthrough. You make one video a day, you do battle a day, whatever you want to do. But then you had people like Shofu that were putting out like six and seven videos a day just to try and beat everybody out. It was like the speed creeping of Pokemon Let's Plays. <laughs> and I just... <sighs> How can you compete? <laughs> it just, it drove me nuts. Oh, that was like when like a lot of these like bigger PokeTubers, they freaking lost a lot of like, they lost a lot of people. Yeah. That. I legitimately, it was um, <laughs> Shofu uploading six Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire videos a day. And some of the things that he was saying on Twitter, just like ranting and raving and insulting people left and right. I was like, I'm out. I can't do it. Yeah. And, like, I don't know. I feel bad about it because I think Shofu is an important person to the community, and I like him as a battler and the fact that he keeps awareness out for Pokemon. But, God, I fucking hated that time frame. That was the worst. <laughs> like, everybody, you'd, you'd open up YouTube, and you'd be like, oh, I got, like, 30,000 new videos that I got to watch today. And you got, like... 12 videos from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire from Shady Penguin, 30 from Shofu, and then you got, I don't even remember who else was out there making them, but, I mean, everybody, everybody had them. Doing it, yeah. Ugh. Anyway, so the next news article that I've got up um, is something about Picross. I have no idea, but um, Nintendo recently did their announcement thing and they were like oh there's something to do about pokemon right and we all got kind of excited because all of us are kind of waiting for pokemon z to come out because i'm tired of breeding in omega ruby and alpha sapphire i trade pokemon back to x and y to do breeding because breeding in omega ruby and alpha sapphire takes so damn long well, so right. because of the sand pits man oh you do it up there oh yeah i do like it. i Oh, um, battle! I do it in the upstairs area. 
Do you? Yeah. I mean, hold on. I I have my game open, so I'm gonna I'm, pff, I'm gonna walk I over there. I found the whole battle maze on. Does it still rotate the camera like that though? No, it doesn't rotate the camera because that's what I hated about the bottom level. Is but that's the nice it thing. Dizzy. It made me dizzy. Yeah, but you stick a penny in it and you just walk <laughs> away. <laughs> Like, that was the nice thing about uh, X and Y that I loved so much. Because you'd go into X and Y, you'd stick the penny going to the right, oh, and you'd be like, all right, done. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean now. Yeah. So, like, that was the cool thing. So when we got Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, we're like, okay, well, we've got the island, and the camera rotates for you, so you're fine, you can do it. But then they introduced those three sand pits down there, and I'm like, why would you do this? Yeah. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any damn sense. And yeah. I honestly, I think that they did it, so that they didn't have as much idle time. I think yeah. it was spiteful. And I, I don't like thinking that about Pokemon or Game Freak or anybody. Well, I like thinking about it a lot of people. But I just I get really annoyed when you introduce things that are like, oh, I don't want I want to introduce something that's tedious and time consuming, but I don't want you to be able to have this shortcut. And if you are gonna take this shortcut, I'm gonna make you pay for it with these three sand pits that keep your bike stuck for a solid like thirty minutes. <laughs> so dumb. <sighs> I'm not salty at all today, okay? Not at all. I don't know. I I really don't like breeding in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And I think part of it is that, like, Pokemon is seeded RNG, so it's based on, like, your trainer ID and your person, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's all based on numbers, and it's seeded by certain numbers. Um, so, like, your RNG in battles can actually be determined just based on your cartridge. So every cartridge has different RNG luck. Um, so, like, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire... Well, I haven't beaten Omega Ruby yet, so, you know, whatever. But Alpha Sapphire, for me, my egg hatching time takes so damn long. Everything takes a thousand more steps than I feel like it should. And all of my IVs... They just don't gen well for me. None of them generate well, and mm -hmm. I just have no luck with it. So I go back over to X and Y where I've got decent shiny luck, where I've got decent IV luck. You know, I can churn out a 5 IV Pokemon in, you know, 20, 30 minutes, and in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, it takes me an hour and a half. Yeah. And it's... But then I'll trade it back for, you know, EVing and leveling up because goddamn Blissey bases are so good. <laughs> so, point of this, now that I've gone on this huge tangent about breeding, because breeding in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is terrible, uh, we got this announcement, and Pokemon, or Nintendo's like, hey, there's a Pokemon announcement, you guys should tune in! And then, I think they did that to us twice recently, because one of them was a new mystery dungeon, right? So we've got a new mystery dungeon coming, and yeah. now we've got Picross coming. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not... It feels like another version of Pokemon Shuffle, isn't it? It feels like it, yeah, because Picross, didn't they have a, uh, let's see, I don't know, let's, I, there's something you know, about Pokemon Shuffle, like but. It's like little side games, they should be on your cell phone while you're taking the Smash and just get a play with it, but it's like, there's... no, we want to make more money off you guys, stupid crap, which is what, I, I mean. And I Pokemon, think, talking about things that should be on your phone. Uh, Pokemon Showdown had a mobile app. Did you know that? Android, yeah. There's a, a Pokemon Showdown mobile app, and I have it on my phone, but in order to get it, you now have to download it uh, basically semi-illegally. Um, I mean, it's not really illegal. You just have to authorize your phone to download things from places that aren't trusted and mm -hmm. then uh, install it from there, too. So I have the the Showdown app, which... I'll show to the stream. There you go. Pokemon Showdown. It's on my phone. Ta-da, phone. Um, but it's just... There you go. There's the actual splash screen. But Pokemon took it off the, the App Store. They I don't think they were charging any money for it. But Pokemon's like, oh, that's our copyright. Uh, you can't have that on the App Store. I'm actually really disappointed in that. Because as far as I know, that Pokemon hasn't gotten really upset about Pokemon Showdown, the website itself. No. Um, can I do anything about the website, though? I mean, they could, because, I mean, we're still using the Pokemon names, mm -hmm. and we're still using uh, all the moves. We're yeah. using literally all the images that we've that we've taken from uh, Pokemon itself. I mean, mm -hmm. most of those were, like, data dumps yeah. that we turned into GIFs and stuff. But, I mean, 
I haven't seen anything about Pokemon going after Showdown. I don't know anything about Pokemon going after Showdown. I don't think that they could, would, or should. It's like Pokemon doing with um, all the hacking devices. Like, can they not do anything about those? Uh, you know, since well, we're in that, there was news about that because they've but they've buttoned down on some of the hack checks, right? Yeah. So there, I think that their hack checker is a little bit stronger now than it was even two months ago, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. And will you had a little experience with a hack checker? Yeah. Yeah. Um, American players that got involved. So. I've gotten, I mean, Will and I have shared our opinion on this, and we don't think that it necessarily matters whether people are editing IVs as long as they're within legal margins. Yeah. You know, uh, obviously we understand why hacking the game itself should be banned. There was, uh, there was a hack out there that somebody told me about where um, after the preview screen, that it was forcing your opponent to have just a completely black screen in battle? Yeah, yeah. I, Paul Chora got that. Um, and, um, yeah, some that should be not allowed at all. So, but, I mean, as far as, as, far as editing certain stats, I mean, should they really crack down that hard? I mean, what's your opinion on it? Is it, I mean, is it one of those things that we just, like, push under the rug like we used to? Yeah. Where... I think it's still going to get pushed under the rug still um, because it's not a massive drama, but it does need to be a bit stronger. Like some for some reason, it gets past the um, some level fifty high dragons get past free, mm -hmm. and um, it shouldn't be. And those players got disqualified. Um, right. One at US Nationals had a level fifty Volcarona. Right. And he made it to day two at um, US Nationals. Um, so only those small things that I will be happy to. If it was um, stopping, but editing IVs and that, I'm not, I'm not fussed at all. If right. you're, uh, you're going to hack, just do um, make sure it's legal. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I, I'm actually a little concerned because now, now one of the big things that's that's making me worried is that all of us, as somebody that's you know, in the community, involved with the community, you get a lot of people, you get a small following or a large following, depending on who you are. Yeah. Like, obviously, if you're somebody like Aaron Zhang, you're going to have a fairly large following. You know, but even somebody like me with a fairly small following, you still get Pokemon that are handed to you, and I think that's just the community itself being really yeah. nice and wanting to give freely. Yeah, exactly. You, know? you do need so, help sometimes. Like, and especially with soft resetting. Mm -hmm. So if you're talking about cloned Pokemon... Yeah. Now, cloning Pokemon, all that's doing is we are spreading different Pokemon around. So if you've got a Landorus, I've only got one in the game. So yeah. I can either soft reset my one Landorus, restart my game, go through, soft reset another Landorus, restart my game, go through, mm. you know, or know somebody, have six or seven people that all have the same game, all of us get a different Landorus, di soft reset for different, you know, whatever clone it and send it on at that point we're not editing anything but we're cloning mm -hmm. and even if you use the the trade cloning i mean at that point you're still abusing the game it's so i mean how game, far yeah. i like the trade cloning is their fault they they have right. fixed it but it's still you can still depatch your games and and um do the trade glitch again and it's i'm fine with that now because it was the game's fault to have it in, in there for the first in the first place so right mm. my big worry is that if they start cracking too hard on on some of these hack checks then some of the duplicated pokemon that i know that i have because you know you get pokemon from other people yeah. and they they're like yeah i got 3 of them i've got duplicated pokemon so now that i've been given a duplicated pokemon by somebody else or an edited pokemon i mean are they really going to get that that's what i'm worried about is yeah. are they going to get that crazy about it? At the moment, it's not that crazy. It's still people can um, getting passed through that. Um, but it is a bit concerning for me as well. Like you don't want to get disqualified at, at an event just for that reason. Ooh. Yeah, you, think, you sit there and think about it, though. I don't think they will because the whole idea of Pokemon is pretty much to like you know battle and catch them all you know what i mean and like mm -hmm. trading and building a community i thought that was the idea behind the game in general 
Yeah. Ron is. So I think if they actually go that far, they're going to be losing so much. You know what I mean? But then as, as a community, do you feel like we have any power to say things like that to Pokemon to be like, hey, listen, these are things that we are okay with? Because right now, as a player, as an individual player, I can talk and I can blow hot air out my mouth all day. But, I mean, does it make a difference? Uh, end of the day, no one's really complaining about hacked mods being a factor of people winning and losing. Right. But, I mean, then at that, qu at that point, what is inspiring Pokemon, the Pokemon company, to be so harsh on it? Because there, I haven't heard any complaints at the top elite where people are complaining about hacked Pokemon. You know, yeah, you see shiny Pokemon and everybody, like, you see that full shiny team. Yeah. Everybody and, and, knows. And ribbons, yeah. We all know. All of us. Your shiny team is fooling nobody. But, like, at that point, it, you can't hack skill. You can't no. pokey save skill. No, and so none of us care. Yeah. You know, all of us, I assume that all of us, I mean, I know I will spend hours breeding. I know just because you told me that, oh, no, I don't breed down there because it makes me dizzy. You've obviously spent enough time breeding to know that it makes you dizzy, mm. you know. And I know that Will and I both spend hours and hours trading eggs back and forth. So, like, the top-level players are all still breeding. So, I mean, at that point, I don't know. I don't know who they're trying to get after. I don't get it, but it... I, uh, they're just... I, I think it's just a... Uh, I, don't, I actually don't know anymore. Like, I don't know what they're trying to fix in the, in the end of the day. Or... Because, yeah, something like a level 50 Volcarona, something like a, a level 50 Hydreigon, if you had a level 50 Dragonite, yeah. those sorts of things that are on stream, especially that level 50 Volcarona, because everything on everything else on the team was level 100. Yeah. Like, that. that's just real dumb. Mm. That was so, lazy. <laughs> I just... That sort of thing where it's out in the open and blatant, I get it. Because yeah. somebody on stream would have said, hey, wait a minute, that Volcarona isn't legal. And so at that point, I, re I expect reactive sort of something out of Pokemon. I want hack checks yeah. in Pokemon because I don't want somebody to have hyperspace hole on a level 100 Rattata with Wonder Guard. You know, mm -hmm. I don't want that kind of thing. Yeah. But... And that's a basic thing. That's that's an easy hack check for them to do. Um, but now, us as players, yeah. if we want if we want certain rules, I mean, where do we go? Who, <laughs> if we want certain things enacted, like when we did, uh, uh, God, who was it? Nugget Bridge mm -hmm. did the whole uh, no mega, right? Mm -hmm. The whole no mega showdown. Yeah. So, if we wanted that rule. Let's say the community got behind that, and the community said all together, like, hey, I want a Megalus 2016. Yeah. Where do we have any power for that? How do we um, get that power? It, pretty much on Nugget Bridge, because some of the Pokemon company employees actually still uh, go on Nugget Bridge and actually see mm -hmm. the topic of conversations. and <laughs> Scott Glaza. <laughs> yeah, Scott Glaza. Um, <laughs> Even Chris Brown, the, yeah, and Chris Brown, who's the uh, VGC organizer for mm -hmm. in Pokemon Company International, and um, some of the Japanese websites might want to go to Naga Bridge and get some import from the Western world. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how the non-mega influenced the uh, special ladder, right? This season. So yeah, it's just put it on Naga Bridge, and pe pe people from Pokemon Company do actually read it read content on Nugget Bridge and forums and they might use that information for potential things in the future. I dig it. Mm. I dig it. All right, gentlemen. Is there any other topic that you would like to talk about? We've gotten through the news. I'm really not excited about Picross and I feel like that's a little bit of a downer. I'm more uh, excited about Spain Regionals coming today. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, what time is that on? Uh, that... Um, I'm not quite sure what time, and I'm not sure where the stream is. I'll post it on. Okay, the, I'm looking. I'm googling it right now. Sixth uh, of December, 2015, <laughs> at nine. It doesn't tell me what time. Nine. It doesn't say what um what time zone nine is. 
I'd say local time, just to be sure. Yeah, it looks like 9 to 11 is what they're saying. Um, I don't know where that's going to be streamed at. Do you know? I, I know no it's, be, it's going to be, have to be somebody like random. Oh. I, I feel like we're going to find it like at the time of the actual event. <laughs> yeah, I think someone like Sekium will definitely um, post it to us once he knows. He's oh. the big player in Spain. Will. Yeah. Um, I've wanted to ask, Shiny Professor has been the host for the streams over in your area lately. Yeah. What happened to Liberty Garden? Uh, they did their six PCs. That was all just six PCs yeah, that they were going to do? Yeah, they only allotted uh, six PCs per season. Per season. Okay. Uh, the Blaziken series just started now. Yeah, so the Bla yeah, so next weekend we're getting... Uh, the first week of uh, Blaziken series, so yeah. it's going to be streamed next weekend. It's going to be next Sunday. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, James Beck's on right now. Yeah, James Beck is streaming with uh, Weeper King. Nice. I think we might have to go check them out after this. Um, so we've got the Spain regionals. Um, I mean, anything that you that you want to see out there? Anything that you're expecting to see? Anything fun? I'm just happy to see Spain to be actually having a, an event for the first time in many years, and they all all the local people are happy, and I've got some friends in, that are playing in that event, so mm -hmm. I would love to see them do well, and hopefully I can see them at Worlds. Nice. Yeah, they have a lot of good competitors over there too, man. Mm. Will, is there anything on your in your end of the world that's uh, that's putting on anything? Because um, I mean, tomorrow, well, I mean, it's Sunday for us in six hours, and I think it's Sunday in Australia already. Yeah, <laughs> guys. Are... Um, nah, there's there's nothing till next week. At least like not that anybody can catch on a uh, stream. Okay. Cause uh, like I said, everything's starting up next week. I think we're gonna have Cybertron at the next two Liberty Garden VGC events. I think. Okay. So I know people are gonna like that's gonna be a probably higher. Thing. Yeah, I imagine with uh, with Cybertron finally coming back into some of those. Because, I mean, we haven't heard too much from him as far as anything competitive. He was in, what was it, San Jose? Is that where it was? They, yeah. So, um, I mean, we saw him a couple times, but not too much on stream lately. Just out of, out of his own personal content. So it'll be nice to see him on, on stream again. Mm. How about anything in Australia? Any, uh, any PCs or tournaments that you're going to be entered in anytime uh, soon? There's only one next week in my hometown. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll be playing that for the last time. Um, and there's still a few PCs around other cities in Australia as well. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they can be streamed on, on their channels. Yeah. Awesome. I might stream mine in, um, on the Nugget Bridge channel. Ooh, there you go. Getting the, uh, the big name in there. Getting yourself <laughs> on Nugget Bridge. Um, yeah, I've got access to their channel, so um, I'll one I'll thing. One thing that I that has been bugging me for what is it a month now, Will? I think uh, the people that don't do commentary, right? The channels like the Nugget Bridge that doesn't do commentary. Yeah. Thing that bugs me is that it would be really easy for somebody to just set up a Skype call and record the Skype call commentary and have the screen showed up for the person on the other other end of Skype, so you could always have commentary, and you wouldn't have, you know. In the players, you wouldn't have the players being able to overhear you. It drives me crazy. Nugget Bridge needs to get on that. They Skype do, calls. They do do that sometimes, only for the, the big the, ones. Yeah, for the big events. Yeah, Man. but they. It would be nice to do it more often, for sure. We could just hit up Shady Penguin. Get get him involved. He likes commentating. We yeah. get Scott Glaza to do it. No, we can't. Probably not. He's busy. He's a busy guy. But Shady Penguin. I remember seeing tweets from him not too long ago where he was saying that he had the itch to commentate some Pokemon. That would be fun. Get him <laughs> on Skype and be like, hey, Shady Penguin, come on, could you commentate for us? That'd be awesome. I don't know. Make a it Skype will. call, make it real easy. <laughs> All right. Anything else we want to talk about? Anything else in Pokemon that's going on? Anything you can think of? Uh, All right. Looking forward to 2016. Control. All right. Well... Boom guy. Thanks for having me. Do you have any links other than your Twitter account, which is actually down below your face? If you just point like this, 
you can point to right there. Awesome. There you go. Uh, that's where you can find him if you've enjoyed talking to him, listening to him, whichever. You know, you could be talking to your computer too. I'm talking to my computer. Uh, go ahead and follow him at Twitter. Have a good time. Uh, any YouTube channels, any content channels that you have that you'd like people to check out? Not yet at the moment, so I will announce those if I do that more often. Awesome. I know will? a lot of people want to see that. <laughs> will? Especially some of, the, some of the, the troll teams. <laughs> low ladder teams doing well on higher ladder. Uh, and hopefully I don't run into you in low ladder with a low ladder team again. That was annoying. <laughs> Seriously, I'm over here, like, low ladder, I'm in I know, what? I'm a dangerous floater on the low ladder. <laughs> People see my name, they're like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good match, though. It was fun. Yeah. Low ladder's enjoyable. Mm. All right, Will, do you have anything going on? Anything fun? I know uh, you don't have a channel. Your Twitch I'm channel doesn't even count. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just like... Uh, Y'all probably catch me on uh, Liberty Garden VGC next week. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, anything else that we want to talk about or anything else you want to talk about? Any shout-outs that you want to make? I'm good. Nope. All right. Well, I'm DKG's Avos. You can see me. Oh, James Beck. James Beck's offline now. He just stopped. Oh. What a jerk. I was going <laughs> to host him. <sighs> uh, I was going to go over there. I don't like James Beck anyway. What a dick. Oh, hold on. We got a we got a question from chat. Why did you choose Mega Camera up for Worlds? <laughs> uh, because it's a slow. It's slower than a Moongus, <laughs> and I wanted to use Trick Room. <laughs> That's fair enough. All right. Well, so again, I really appreciate having you on. Thank you for spending so much time Thanks, with Emma. us. Um, have a great evening and good luck at your next tournament. Hope to see you soon. All right, see ya.